you want a bad body, bad body? I can't get you a bad body, bad body. Do you want a bad body, bad body? I can't get you a bad body, bad body. Bad body, bad body. Bad body, bad body. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Derek Colors. I am going to bring you a special edition of Derek Diamonds. Now, this edition is special because so many people who I train and just people in general, they always come to me and they ask me questions about weight loss, why they're gaining weight and they don't even eat a lot of food. Not only do they not eat a lot of food, they even tell me, but I don't even eat bad foods. And if you tell me something like that, I already know the problem. So the first question I ask after they tell me all of these reasons why they don't eat a lot, they don't eat bad food, but they're still gaining weight. And the first question I ask them is, how many times a day do you eat? And guess what? The, the, the answer that I always get, probably 100% of the time is, I eat about two times a day. And I already know that's one of the reasons why they're gaining weight. The second question I ask them is, do you eat breakfast? And again, eight to nine times out of 10, the answer is no. And that's your problem. You are not eating enough times a day and you are fasting too long for your body to recognize that it needs to use the foods that you're eating. So what I've decided to do is give you an illustration and an example of what your body does, what the purpose of what it's doing to help you not gain weight and help you lose the weight that you want. It's about working out, but we all know 80%, at least 80% of your weight loss will be the way you eat, okay? So, I'm gonna give you an example, the illustration that I kinda walk out, and it's called the Metabolism Man, okay? The Metabolism Man is a man who I just kinda created to kinda give you a better picture of what your body is doing, okay? So, I know I will tell you this first, your body is designed to protect itself. It will not allow you to harm yourself beyond repair. Unless you're doing some extreme things, your body automatically goes into repair mode when something is not right. It goes automatically into protect mode when something is not right. For example, when you cut yourself, right away the body is activating a healing process to heal that cut. It's not waiting for you. You know, you may get something to speed the process up, but the body is already kicking in to heal that cut. When you get sick inside, your body automatically, your immune system automatically kicks in and it's starting to heal you. That's why I'm telling you that if you are not eating at least five times a day, no less than four. Four to five times a day, you are really hurting your body. It's counterproductive to weight loss when you're not eating enough, okay? So this example that I'm gonna show you, I give you a picture of what's going on inside your body. Now, some of you guys probably never heard of the word metabolism. Some of you have, but your metabolism is the motor, the engine that runs inside of you, that takes your food and it burns the food and it sends the food into the parts of the body that it needs to send the food to. So you have like your proteins, your carbs, your sugars, your vitamins, your minerals, your fibers, all of those things, the metabolism takes the food and it distributes it into the different buckets that allows your body to pull from those buckets when it needs to have whatever it needs to keep you having energy, keeps you ready to, to perform at a high level. And if you're trying to perform at a high level and yet your buckets are low, that's when you have low energy. That's when you're asking your body to do something that you have not given it the food to do. And so when you try to exuberate a lot of energy, say for example, in a football game or a basketball game, or if you're just going out running, your body is not gonna give you the full amount of energy that you need to perform because it knows that if it gives you all that you're asking from it, it will not make it through the day and you will faint that's why some people get those fainting feelings some people pass out some people start hurting because their body is telling you you're running on fumes for example let's say you were going to go on a trip to houston 
and you didn't have any gas money. So you're leaving Dallas, heading to Houston, and you have a half a tank of gas. Do you think that you will make it? You know that you would not make it all the way to Houston on a half a tank of gas. Why? Because the distance that you're asking the car to go does not have enough fuel in it to make it there. So if you do try to drive to Houston, everything seems good in the beginning. You're driving down the street, everything's good. But once you begin to run out of fuel, the car starts letting you know something's not right. It doesn't shut right off but it starts sputtering and you're trying to push that gas, you're trying to make it go and the car is telling you, I don't have enough fuel to go the distance that you're asking me to go because you have not given me enough fuel. And you can push and you can push, but eventually you're gonna put, 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 boom, you out of gas and you're gonna stop right there. Well, your body is the same way. If you do not put enough fuel in it to do and go the distance that you're asking it to go at the level that you're asking it to go, it will go in the beginning. You'll feel good in the beginning, but eventually your body will start sputtering. You're going to start feeling like I don't have enough energy. You're going to start feeling faint. That's why a lot of people, they, they, they start feeling like that and they think that it's just dirt out of shape or they think that it's too much for me. I can't handle it. Well, that is not the truth. The truth is you are not fueling your body to handle what the activity you're doing. It's your body can't perform at that level for the long amount of time that you're asking it to because you're not feeding it, okay? So this is what I'm gonna tell you about the metabolism man. Now the metabolism man is a special kind of guy because he represents you. He is you inside your body. And guess what? If the metabolism man is eating properly the amount of times a day he's in shape and if he's in shape guess what you're in shape but guess what on the opposite end if he's not eating at the proper times and the amount of times a day he's gaining weight and if he's gaining weight guess what you're gaining weight so you have to respect the metabolism man and make him work so that you can reap the benefits of his work. As long as he's working, your body is working. And if that means he's burning fat, that means you're burning fat. And that's what the system does. I'm gonna give you an example to show you exactly what the process looks like, okay? And if you can see the process, you may get a better understanding of what I'm saying, okay? So here we go. All right, so let's say you have your tunnel or your throat where the food comes down and actually let's represent it over here with this with this different colored concrete all right so this is where the food is coming down the pipe right when you swallow every time you swallow there's a tunnel and the food comes down now the metabolism man this is where he rests and he waits for you to eat okay so he's sitting here and he's waiting his only job is to catch that food when it comes down your throat and it cannot hit the ground. So when he catches the food, his job is to dis distribute it into the different buckets. Protein, fiber, carbs, vitamins, minerals, whatever it is. He is smart enough, he knows how to divide that food up. And so he's sitting. When he knows it's time to eat, he's preparing himself. So if you're eating on a schedule, your metabolism man, is he knows that. He's, he's watched the patterns of your eating habits. So he also knows when you're not eating, he knows he needs to prepare for that too. So let's talk about the positive side of his preparation. If you are eating five, six times a day, he is ready to get to running. So let's say breakfast time is at seven in the morning. When you ready to eat, he knows it. He's up because he knows I eat at seven o'clock. My body eats at seven o'clock, so I go to work at seven o'clock. So when you start eating, he, he hears the food coming. What he does, he gets up, he runs over to your throat. Boom, he catches it, he runs back. And then he distributes the food into the buckets. Then more food comes. running that keeps him in shape he's running boom 
he's putting the food in the thing. And so this process is repeated over and over and over. Every time you swallow, every time you swallow, he's moving, right? So he's your motor. He's putting the food in there. So he's running back and forth a lot. And so after he finishes breakfast, he waits again. He sits and he knows like, man, now when your body is needing some protein or some fiber, it's in the bucket. So your body is using it. And so when it starts depleting, it gets low because your body is pulling the food and the energy from the foods that you have. Let's say you run doing sports, guess what? These buckets probably will go down faster. It will become empty. And when it becomes empty, you are out of fuel. Your body shuts down. So your metabolism, man, he knows that he cannot allow you to go on empty and faint or pass out because you're taking too much energy from your body. So what he does is he, he makes sure that you don't use too much. So as the body is taking it, if it's starting distributing too much, he will take it and he will give you just a little, uh, just a little bit, just a little, because you're asking the body to do something, but he knows I cannot let these buckets go empty because if I do, they'll faint. So if too much goes out, he takes control of that particular bucket and he holds on to it. So now your body can't use up all of it. He goes and take charge and he says, well, I gotta give you a little bit. I can't give you all of it. I gotta give you a little bit because I'm waiting for the next meal so I can fill this bucket back up. Now, let's say you have about this much proteins or carbs and let's use carbs. You have this many carbs left in your body when the next meal comes. So what happens is, if you have too many carbs, whatever's left in this carb bucket, when you get ready to eat, he needs to put new carbs in. So he takes this bucket of carbs and say this is the fats bucket. Whatever's left, he has to pour into the fat bucket because it's left over too much and you don't need it. It should be almost all the way down because your body's using the energy. And so if you pour a little bit in there, working out and doing those type of things will help burn what's in the fat bucket. But if you pour in too many extra things into the fat bucket, because everything left over goes to the fat bucket. If you are pouring too much, the fat bucket overflows. And when the fat bucket overflows, you become, you gain weight because you have too many fats in your body. And so now you take this car bucket and you had a car bucket, now it's time to eat again. He runs, boom. If you're doing this every two to three hours, like have your metabolism man running, boom, boom, boom. If you notice movement, movement, he's working out, boom, running. That's his job, that's all he does. His job is to make sure that that food does not hit the ground and to make sure this system is working properly. Now, he's gonna do his job. You have to do your job. There is a system to weight loss, a system to muscle gain, a system to gain weight. There's a system. And if you're not acting properly and doing what you're supposed to do to help this system run properly, then guess what? It starts malfunctioning and things to your body that you don't want begins to happen, okay? And so you don't want that because again, the body is designed to protect itself. So he's not gonna put out too much, but guess what? If he knows that you are gonna eat once, every seven hours this is what the process looks like See what happened? The longer your metabolism man set, the, the more weight he gained. He's waiting, he's ready to work. Your metabolism 
You know, you ever heard of someone says you have to speed up your metabolism? Some people already have a metabolism that's gonna burn that food quick, but some people don't. But your metabolism, man, he is always ready to do his job, and that's to go catch that food before it hits the ground, hits your belly, and then it takes the food and it distributes it. If you work within the system, you're gonna see better benefits and better, uh, well, I guess you can see your body will be better for you. You will notice that you'll start dropping the fat because your metabolism is working properly. So a lot of people think, well, if I don't eat, then I don't gain weight. Well, we just showed you that if you don't, the metabolism man is not gonna distribute all the energy that you need from these foods into your body is gonna hold on and give you a little bit at a time. And then when you do finally eat, you're gonna have so much left in the bucket because the, because the metabolism man never knows when you're gonna really eat again. So he could be using a lot more of this energy to help you, but he doesn't because he never knows when the next meal comes and he wants to make sure that you have enough. If you do eat in 10 hours or seven hours, sometimes 13 hours, he doesn't know, but he, what he will do is when you do start eating, he's going to dump all of these buckets into one fat bucket. And when that fat bucket starts filling, boom, you start growing. And then you wonder why you're gaining weight. You wonder, like, I don't eat that much. I'm not eating bad foods. Even bad foods. Let's say, for example, in the end by saying this, let's say your protein bucket, when it fills up, and your carb buckets, your mineral buckets, whatever. Once it fills up to the top, that's all you need. Anything else that you put into this bucket, when it's full, overflows. And when it overflows, your body automatically takes all the extra that you did not need and it puts it in the fat bucket. And I'm telling you, the last thing you need is for that fat bucket to continue to fill up. Because when you do, your body is going to show that you have too much in the fat bucket. So let's stop filling up our fat buckets and use proper fats and the right amount of fats and let's start filling these buckets up using a system of eating four to five, even six times a day. I'm telling you, you will start seeing better results once you get your eating right. And when you do that, then you'll start seeing a lot more benefits from your workouts. And that's why they say, Eating right, working out, proper rest, you put them together, then you have success, okay? It's like a three-string rope. When you break one of the strings, if you hanging from a building on fire and you're on the 20th floor and you climb down a rope and one rope snaps, are you nervous? That once one of the three threads on that rope broke, it snapped. You still trying to come down. The weight hasn't changed, but the support has changed. And if you keep climbing down and then you snap a second rope, a second thread, then what happens? You're really nervous because you unbroke two of the threads in the rope that's designed to protect you from hitting the ground when you're getting out of a dangerous situation. So it's the same thing with working out. A lot of people want to just work out, but they don't want to eat right. A lot of people want to rest, but they don't want to work out. All three are important to your success. You have to eat right, but you also have to do the right type of workouts to get you the type of results that you want. And you also got to make sure that you find time to rest. When you do all three, then you will find success, okay? So, I know this video was a little bit long, but it was worth it. I hope you I hope you get it. I hope you understand it. I hope this allows you to change the way you're eating. Stop skipping breakfast because you're giving yourself a 13 hour sometimes, eight to 10 hour fast where your meals are so far apart that your body doesn't understand that. Then when you skip breakfast and then you don't eat to 12, that's, that's too many hours. Your, your metabolism, man, is gaining weight every single day and you wonder why over time you've gained all that weight. So let's start feeding the metabolism, man. Let's put him to work. And when you put him to work, he will work for you. And when he's thin and he's in shape, you're thin and you're in shape. When he's muscled up because of the proper meals that you're putting for your workouts, then you muscled up. So that's the, that's the illustration I want to give you. I hope it helped you out. 
like the video, send to a friend who may need to see exactly how it works, and let's go get that bad body, baby, because that's what we make, bad bodies. Your boy DC is out.